In this demonstration, I want to show you that electrical charge does indeed have potential energy associated with it. In this experiment, we have a Van de Graaff generator. Now this is a generator that generates a large amount of positive charge. So that big silver ball is going to develop a large positive charge. The charge is generated when I turn on the charging belt, which I'm going to do now. Now look what happens when I bring another conductive sphere near the Van de Graaff generator, which is now positively charged. The sharp sounds that you're hearing and the light that you're seeing is essentially indoor thunder and lightning. Charge is traveling from one sphere to the other. This heats up the air in between, causing the molecules to emit light and causing those sharp sounds. All right, now I'm going to turn down the lights so that you can see the sparks a little better. Now, think about the energy involved here. There's clearly kinetic energy. After all, light and sound are examples of kinetic energy. Where's that kinetic energy coming from? It's coming from the potential energy associated with that charged sphere. The potential energy in that charged sphere is converted to kinetic energy as charge travels from one sphere to another. As that charge travels, the friction between the charge and the air molecules heats up the air, forming the thunder and the lightning. Of course, to see this happening on a much grander scale, just watch a thunderstorm. Electrical charge is being generated in the clouds. That forms potential energy, which is eventually converted into kinetic energy of charge traveling from the clouds to the ground and from the ground to the clouds. That heats up the air in between, making real thunder and lightning.